Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the WWE Elite Series 51 Mankind. Pretty pumped to open this guy, but I'm hoping the articulation isn't as bad as Mick Foley. But anyways, on the side you can see uh, Mankind there, uh, WWE Mankind. Then on the back you can see the picture there. Here's all the information. From the boiler room. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, and then there's all the wrestlers. I did take a look at Roman, AJ, and Scott Hall. So you can check those out. And there's Mankind again. That's about it for packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. Alright, we got Mankind out of the packaging, and I'm going to be honest, I actually do like this figure a little bit better than Mick Foley, just because he's a bit easier to move around and articulate, so, uh, he does come with two accessories, technically, I mean, they're not really cool accessories, but you can not take out a piece of his hair, two pieces of his hair, and I find that kind of gross, and it looks weird, so, I don't know, I, I, if it was just a little bit off the side, I guess that would make more sense, and you can see the the rest of the mask. But yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's not the best accessory. But come on, focus. There you go. Yeah, I mean they're okay. I mean it's kind of stupid, but uh, yeah. Let's take a look at the face scan. Yeah, I think that looks like Mick Foley. I mean, it's more Mankind than Mick Foley, but... Yeah, I guess it's alright. I like the mask. Goes all the way to the back. You can see some lace laces there. Yeah, it's alright. I don't know. I like the sculpt. It's sculpted right here. Let's get the scar. Kinda, I kind of wonder how he got that scar, but... Let me move the mic a little closer. Uh, he has this hand for the mandible claw, which I like having so you could pose with someone like AJ Styles whose mouth is open. So I think that's cool. I'm glad they gave us this, not another fisted hand. You get this design again. Very odd looking. I like the sculpt of the t shirt. It's a. It's a, I don't know how to say it, but it's like it's a softer rubber, so it's not as hard. You can get that articulation a tiny bit, not really a lot, but a lot better than the uh, other one, which we'll compare in a moment. But yeah, from the legs down, it's pretty simple. Let's get the boots. Articulation, the head can look up a tiny bit. He can look down, he can look side to side. He does have a head pivot. His arms move out like so. He can do a 360. There's a bicep swivel, single bend at the elbow, meets at the 90 degree. Swivel at the hand and hinge. This is an ab crunch, but it's kind of hard. It might even be a diaphragm joint. No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to articulate it with the shirt on, but. Yeah, I guess that's how well it's going to work. Anyways, hip joints move out like so. Does he have waist swivel? Yeah, he has a waist swivel, but that's how far his hip joints go. He can't kick out a little bit back, not really at all. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, hindered by the uh, knee pad. Boot rotation in the feet is on this weird hinge, which I always say is weird. Focus. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a better figure, but I'm kind of curious to see how the other mankind from the uh, SummerSlam set that is also with Finn Balor. But yeah, here you go. Yeah, I guess the, the height is the same. His head looks a lot bigger on this, but something on his head. I don't know what that is. But yeah, this looks alright. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to see so much more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Let me get
kind of weak. Good, good pose. Peace. Thanks for watching.